When the exasperated stepmother abandoned her paralyzed daughter in the heart of the forest, she justified her actions by assuming her husband would comprehend her motives, left alone in a perilous environment, the girl, Mila, found herself confronted by the daunting wilderness, Victor and Olga, her grandparents, were taken aback when they discovered Mila's luggage at their doorstep, yet the girl was nowhere in sight, anxiety gripped their hearts as they pondered the safety of their city bread. Granddaughter, especially given her reliance on a wheelchair venturing into the dense woodland, they traced Mila's path, their concern mounting with each step, suddenly, a low growl pierced the tranquil air, sending shivers down their spines, dread consumed them as they imagined Mila facing imminent danger, despite the urgency of the situation. Victor and Olga's familiarity with the forest granted them a sense of direction as they pressed forward reflecting on their own journey, Victor and Olga. Reminisced about their early days as a couple, the forest, their cherished home, symbolized both freedom and security, nestled close to a quaint village, it offered solace without severing ties to the outside world, their dreams of a bustling family had flourished with the birth of their baby boy, now, as they trekked deeper into the woods in search of Mila, their shared memories fueled their determination, with each stride, they hoped to reunite with their beloved granddaughter, praying that, the forest would not become a place of sorrow for their family, the news from the doctors shattered Olga's hopes of expanding their family, leaving her devastated, yet, Victor found solace in the tight-knit family they had forged, his contentment stemmed from the love shared between his wife and son, which he deemed more than sufficient, however, their son harbored discontent with their rural existence. The serene farm life and the quaint village failed to capture his interest, despite Victor's attempts to impart his wisdom. Their son yearned for the bustling city lights leaving the forest behind, their son pursued higher education in the urban landscape, distancing himself from the simplicity of rural living, his visits home became infrequent, rendering the city a distant realm, albeit just an hour's drive away, while Victor and Olga respected his pursuit of dreams, they longed for a deeper connection. Hoping he would carve out a space for them in his bustling life as Olga grappled with the ache of her son's absence, she found solace in caring for the creatures that sought refuge on their porch, her nurturing spirit extended to injured birds and lonely animals, providing comfort in their shared solitude, Victor's hands fashioned delicate splints for injured wings, while Olga crafted cozy enclosures, offering a sanctuary to those in need then, a surprise call shattered their routine, their son announced his impending visit, accompanied by his future wife, welcoming her into their home, Victor and Olga recognized her gentle demeanor and caring nature, yet, like their son, she too was a city dweller, unfamiliar with the rhythms of farm life, despite the contrasts, they embraced her warmly, finding solace in the promise of new connections amid their tranquil forest home, the notion that one day the farm would lack a successor weighed heavily on Victor and Olga, yet their primary wish remained for their son's happiness. His periodic visits, once rare, infused their home with the vibrancy of family gatherings, reminiscent of times past, though his prior disdain for their rustic lifestyle had stung, his return softened the ache of his absence, with each holiday spent together, Victor and Olga embraced the growing bond with their daughter-in-law, expanding their familial circle, the arrival of their granddaughter, M.A.A., during one such celebration heralded the dawn of a new chapter, filling their hearts with immeasurable joy. As Mila blossomed, her presence became a beacon of happiness, knitting together the threads of their family tapestry. Recognizing the importance of familial ties, Mila's mother facilitated frequent visits to ensure a strong connection with her grandparents, amidst the tranquil embrace of the farm, Mila found solace among the animals and the sprawling countryside, her deep-rooted affinity for the land blossomed as she matured, earning her the privilege of solitary visits to her grandparents' home, during one such excursion, Mila encountered a poignant scene nestled within the forest's depths, a shallow wolf den. Harboring a solitary survivor, 
Despite the tragedy that befell the Wolf family, Victor understood the maternal instinct that coursed through the wild, recognizing the unlikely circumstances that led to such heartache. Mila's heart sank at the sight of the lone wolf pup, a poignant reminder of loss amidst the forest's embrace, determined to offer solace to the forsaken creature. Olga resolved to rescue the pup, her resolve unwavering despite the weight of secrecy they bore, aware of their sons. Apprehensions about wolves, they pledged to keep Mila's newfound companion hidden, safeguarding their familial bond as Victor set to work crafting a makeshift den for the orphaned pup, he ventured into the woods in search of the mother wolf, hopeful of a reunion that never came to pass, left with the solemn duty of caring for the pup, Mila and the little wolf formed an inseparable bond. Their connection transcending the barriers of the wild despite her grandparents' warnings of the pup's wild. Nature, Mila nurtured him with unwavering devotion, relishing in their shared adventures, as the pup grew, so did his instincts, yet Mila remained unafraid, guiding him through the nuances of survival in the wilderness. Over the years, Mila's visits became a beacon of joy for the little wolf, his presence a testament to their enduring friendship, even as he ventured into the wild with his pack, he returned to her side. A silent guardian in the shadows amidst the anticipation of a new addition to the family. Tragedy struck, shattering their world with a single phone call, the news of a devastating accident cast a pall over their joy, leaving them reeling from the sudden turn of fate, Mila and her mother, bound by love and expectation, found themselves engulfed in the turmoil of uncertainty, their future hanging in the balance. The echoes of tragedy reverberated through their lives when the collision sent them tumbling down the embankment, trapped within the confines of twisted metal and shattered. Dreams, amidst the chaos, their daughter-in-law and the unborn child she carried met a fate of unfathomable finality, leaving behind a void that echoed with the weight of loss. Mila's rescue came with a heavy toll, her fragile form bearing the scars of trauma and devastation. Despite the trepidation of navigating the unfamiliar urban landscape, Victor and Olga embarked on a journey fraught with anguish and uncertainty. Guided by the unwavering resolve to stand by their son's side in his darkest hour, as they beheld Mila's frail silhouette against the sterile confines of the hospital bed, their hearts swelled with a mixture of sorrow and resilience, her smile, a fleeting beacon of solace amidst the encroaching shadows, belied the depth of anguish that lay beneath the surface. The aftermath of the accident cast a pall of silence over Mila's once vibrant spirit, her voice muted by the weight of unspeakable loss and unyielding despair, the specter of paralysis loomed large, a cruel testament to the unforgiving grip of trauma that held her captive within its grasp. In the wake of mourning, Olga and Victor remained steadfast in their vigil by Mila's side, their presence a bomb against the tempest of grief that threatened to engulf them all, yet, as the days stretched into weeks, the chasm of despair widened leaving them grappling with the agonizing uncertainty of Mila's future. Amidst the somber rites of farewell, they found solace in the embrace of their cherished homeland. Yet the call of duty beckoned them back to the solace of their rural haven. Despite Mila's fervent pleas to accompany them, their son's steadfast resolve stood firm, his need for her comforting presence outweighing the longing for familial solace in the ebb and flow of sorrow and solace, they stood united, their love a beacon of hope amidst the encroaching shadows of adversity. The rift between their son and themselves widened into an unbridgeable chasm. His grief and resentment eclipsing any semblance of empathy or understanding, despite Mila's heartfelt pleas and their fervent attempts at reconciliation, their son remained obstinate, his decisions driven by his own pain and disillusionment. The news of their son's remarriage came as a thunderous blow, shattering the fragile semblance of normalcy they had desperately clung to in the aftermath of tragedy. Questions gnawed at their hearts, unspoken fears casting a shadow over their hopes for Mila's well-being. How would she cope with yet another upheaval in her fractured world, was she prepared to accept? 
Another woman into the void left by her mother's absence, their son's staunch refusal to allow them contact with Mila plunged them into a maelstrom of helplessness and despair, their longing to comfort her eclipsed by the barriers erected by his steadfast resolve. The ache of separation gnawed at their souls, each passing day a poignant reminder of their inability to be there for her in her hour of need as the months wore on. A grim reality set in, their visits to the farm becoming a bittersweet. Reminder of the daughter they were barred from comforting, yet, fate had one more cruel twist in store, one that would shake the foundations of their world to its core, unaware of the brewing tempest, Victor and Olga carried on with the mundane rhythms of their daily lives, oblivious to the storm that loomed on the horizon, the revelation of Mila's stepmother's callous intentions sent shockwaves reverberating through their world, her disdain for Mila's presence a bitter testament to her selfish desires in a moment of defiance born from anguish and desperation. Mila issued an ultimatum, her resolve unyielding in the face of adversity, the prospect of seeking solace in the sanctuary of her grandparents' farm beckoned like a beacon of hope amidst the tumult of discord and discord. In that fateful exchange, the lines of destiny shifted, propelling Mila towards a new chapter fraught with uncertainty and possibility. As the echoes of her defiance reverberated through the corridors of fate, Victor and Olga braced themselves for the tumultuous journey that lay ahead their hearts heavy with the weight of uncertainty yet buoyed by the unwavering resolve to stand by their granddaughter's side, no matter the cost, the horrid woman's plan unfolded with chilling efficiency, her heart devoid of empathy as she callously executed her scheme, with her husband away on a work trip, the stage was set for her nefarious intentions to come to fruition, packing Mila's belongings with a cold detachment. She loaded her daughter and her possessions into the car, Heedless of the potential dangers lurking in the deserted farmhouse as they embarked on the journey towards the forest, the stepmother's indifference to Mila's well-being cast a sinister shadow over their path, oblivious to the possibility of her grandparents' absence. She callously abandoned her paralyzed daughter amidst the towering trees, a pawn in her twisted game of cruelty unbeknownst to the stepmother. A watchful guardian prowled the shadows of the forest, its keen eyes tracing Mila's solitary figure with a mix of curiosity and concern, the wolf, attuned to the rhythms of the wilderness, sensed the girl's vulnerability, a silent witness to the unfolding drama for Mila, the forest offered a fleeting respite from the suffocating confines of her stepmother's cruelty, a sanctuary where she could bask in the embrace of nature's solace, determined to await her grandparents' arrival. She ventured along the familiar path, her wheelchair struggling against the unforgiving terrain, the forest, once a place of solace, soon became a treacherous labyrinth, its rugged contours testing Mila's resolve with each passing moment, trapped in the throes of exhaustion, her descent into the valley of shadows seemed inevitable, her hopes dashed against the unforgiving rocks of despair, then, in a heart-stopping moment of peril, Fate intervened with a twist of unexpected grace, from the depths of the forest emerged a guardian, a lupin sentinel poised to defend the helpless against the encroaching darkness, with a primal growl, the wolf stood as a bulwark against the looming threat, its pack rallying to its side in a silent chorus of solidarity as the tension reached its zenith, the forest bore witness to a timeless battle of survival the clash of primal instincts echoing through the verdant canopy, in that fleeting moment, amidst the chaos and uncertainty, Mila found herself enveloped in a fleeting embrace of hope, a beacon of light amidst the gathering shadows of despair as the bear retreated into the depths of the forest, Mila's tense muscles finally relaxed, her breath coming in ragged gasps of relief, yet, her reprieve was short-lived as she sensed the encroaching presence of the wolf pack, their eyes gleaming with an inscrutable mixture of curiosity and hunger, but then, amidst the looming shadows of the forest, a singular figure emerged, a lone wolf, its amber eyes ablaze with a fierce protectiveness that belied its wild nature. Mila's heart quickened with a surge of recognition as she beheld the familiar gaze, 
a spark of connection igniting within her soul in that fleeting moment of uncertainty, the air thrummed with unspoken tension, the silent communication between girl and wolf transcending the boundaries of language, with a low growl that resonated through the stillness of the forest, the lone wolf asserted its dominance, commanding the pack to halt in their tracks, for Mila. The realization dawned like a beacon of hope amidst the darkness, the lone wolf, with its unmistakable aura of familiarity, was none other than the pup she had once nurtured with tender care, in the gentle brush of fur against her bruised skin, she found solace, a silent testament to the enduring bond forged in the crucible of shared experiences. As tears mingled with the soft fur of her newfound companion, Mila surrendered to the waves of grief that had long lain dormant within her heart, in the embrace of the wild, she found release. A cathartic outpouring of emotion that shattered the walls of stoic resolve she had. Erected around her fractured soul, meanwhile, Victor and Olga, consumed by a frantic search for their beloved granddaughter, combed the familiar pathways of the forest, their hearts heavy with worry and dread, yet, as fate would have it, it was not the frantic calls or anxious footsteps that led them to Mila's side, but the quiet bond between girl and wolf. A testament to the unbreakable ties that bind the human spirit to the untamed wilderness in that poignant moment of reunion, amidst the dappled shadows of the forest, Victor and Olga beheld a sight that defied all logic and reason, their precious Mila, cradled in the protective embrace of a wild wolf, her tears a testament to the enduring power of love and resilience, and as the pack melted into the shifting shadows of the forest, a quiet understanding settled over the land, a bond forged in the crucible of adversity. Bound by the timeless threads of kinship and compassion, the arrival of the approaching footsteps signaled the departure of the wolf pack, their enigmatic guardian receding into the shadows with a silent farewell, Mila watched as their protector vanished into the depths of the forest, a silent sentinel bidding them farewell from afar, as the world shifted back into focus, Mila's gaze turned to her grandparents, a wellspring of longing and affection swelling within her heart, with a newfound resolve, she rose to her feet, her steps faltering at first, then gaining strength with each determined stride, it was only when their astonished gasps pierced the stillness that she realized the miraculous truth, she was walking again. In the warm embrace of her grandparents, tears mingled with laughter, a symphony of joy and relief echoing through the forest, together, they made their way back to the comfort of their cabin, their hearts buoyed by the promise of newfound hope and reconciliation. A week later, the unexpected arrival of her father sent shockwaves rippling through their tranquil sanctuary, yet, amidst the tumult of emotions, there was a glimmer of redemption, a chance for healing and reconciliation amidst them. Fractured fragments of their shared past, his remorse palpable, her father vowed to right the wrongs of the past, to forsake the trappings of city life for the solace of family and home, it was a decision born of newfound clarity, a testament to the enduring power of love and redemption, and so, against the backdrop of the forest's ancient embrace, they embarked on a journey of healing and forgiveness. Their footsteps guided by the gentle rhythm of love and understanding, with each passing day. The wounds of the past began to heal, replaced by the tender bonds of familial affection and unity as they looked to the horizon, their hearts brimming with hope, they knew that their journey was far from over, yet, in the quiet depths of the forest, amidst the gentle rustle of leaves and the whispered secrets of the wind, they found solace a sanctuary of love and belonging that would forever endure, and so, as the shadows lengthened and the forest whispered its timeless lullaby, they embraced. The promise of a new beginning, guided by the enduring light of love and reconciliation, and somewhere in the depths of the forest, a lone wolf stood sentinel, a silent guardian watching over them with unwavering devotion, in the tapestry of their shared journey, they found redemption a testament to the transformative power of love, forgiveness, and the unbreakable bonds of family. And as they basked in the gentle embrace of the forest's embrace, they knew that their story was just beginning, a testament to the enduring resilience of the human spirit.
and the boundless depths of the heart's capacity to heal, the above is today's story, if you like it, please subscribe our channel and give it a thumbs up, see you next time.